All right, we have the pleasure to be at the Dan Clark Audio's um, booth today, and uh, the man himself. Thanks so much for your time, Dan. Uh, sure, it's a pleasure. I'm I'm very curious about the the new uh, headphone, uh, the, the Expanse. If you can give us a brief, of what is unique with it? Sure. Uh, the Expanse headphone is built upon the technology platform we developed for our Stealth closed back headphone. And the first and most obvious difference is the Expanse is an open back headphone. What's kind of interesting about the Expanse from a technology perspective is that we use this uh, technology we call AMTS or Acoustic Metamaterial Tuning System to basically eliminate all the standing waves that normally set up in a headphone between your ear and the transducer. And uh, you can liken that in, uh, as an analogy to taking all the standing waves and reflections out of a, a listening room or a club or a stadium where you know, as pretty much everyone knows you walk around through those spaces and the sound changes based on the reflections of sound off the walls. And uh, so we've eliminated that in headphones, and in headphones, unlike uh, in your room, where your room will be affecting the low frequencies, in the headphone, the, the cup uh, and ear pad are your room, and that affects the high frequencies because the wavelengths are very short. And so what happens is all the energy that normally would bounce around in there and make the sound sound kind of ragged or synthetic or harsh, uh, all those standing waves are eliminated, and it leaves uh, a sound that is more reminiscent of listening to like a live acoustic performance or a live performance outdoors where you have no reflections and standing waves to contend with. So it creates a really lifelike and realistic uh, listening experience. Yeah, it's very easy to listen to. Lifelike and, and uh, realism, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the, th that's very interesting. That's exactly what, what, what I try to cover in my channel, uh, High Real Sensorium. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you probably mentioned the low uh, uh, distortion as well. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. you already mentioned it. Uh, the distortion of the headphones unusually low to the point where we're having to build a new enclosure to be able to actually measure how low it truly is because we're limited by the noise of our environment in the office. Even when all the air conditioners are turned off and everything's quiet, even just the fans from the computer affect our noise distortion, uh, our distortion readings. But our distortion measurements have gotten as low as 0.008% in the uh, upper mid-range, lower treble region to 0.03% in the bass region, uh, even at like 104 decibels. Right. And I know that Amir from uh, Audio Science Audio uh, Review, he, 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 he reviewed the, the stealth. Uh, yes. And he's, uh, that headphone is one of his favorite uh, daily drivers, yes. uh, as, uh, as I understand. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for, for this. And now we're gonna we're gonna head over to to look at the the headphone themselves. I think uh, the yeah yeah I, I think that my my son here. What did you see? What did you, do you think about the just the quality, the build quality? I think it's like really cool because like all of the like headphones, like the sound, like it's like very like smooth. So yeah. Yeah. Full tone polyphonic synthesizer ever made. Thanks so much, Dan. It was a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks.